Good evening. Oh, thank God there's a comment. <laughs> I, thought, I genuinely thought there was no one here for a minute then. My counter said zero. <laughs> Just jumped to 65 after Regina's comment came in. Hello, happy Monday, happy kickoff sprints for final book support group. How are we all doing? How's your Monday been? What are you planning on reading this evening? Have you already finished something? What are your plans? Let me know. Uh, I have had a very busy day. I've basically done a week's worth of work today. <laughs> already. Uh, so I've managed to get a bunch of videos filmed and edited while on Patreon sprints today. Um, they kept me very much so accountable, which is what I needed after having pretty much the whole week off work last week. Unintentionally, uh, I had a very horrendous week last week. Um, and it did mean that there is no weekly vlog going up this week for last week. There is a whole explanation in the beginning of this week's vlog, which will be the final book support group vlog going up next week. Uh, but yeah, after doing no work and reading not a single page last week, uh, I am ready and raring to go. I'm a little bit anxious to get back, in, back into reading again. I don't think I've ever taken like a week off completely from reading. So... I have made the decision to, I think I'm just going to start off easy and read Spy X Family Volume 4, which was chosen, I need to double check the poll actually in Discord, but it was chosen in the Final Book Support Group Discord today on the poll pick. Yes, yeah, 16 to 2 votes for Business Proposal Volume 2. Um, so I think I'm going to ease myself in by reading this. And then I have 40 minutes of fake left by Tate James, which I started like over, well over a week ago now uh, and intended to finish last week, but just didn't pick anything up. So I think I'll try and finish this. I know what's going to happen and I'm going to want to go straight into Kate, but I'm going to wait um, and I'm going to try and then make some decent progress in Hopeless this evening. So those are my plans for the evening. Put that on top of that like that. Um, and Spikes Family Volume 4 will be my first read just to ease me back in because it's been a whole week since I've read anything, uh, which is a long, long time for someone who does this as a job. <laughs> uh, I'll be starting A Crown This Cold and Heavy today to get up to date with the Kingdom of Lies series. Nice. Hello. Currently at work, so jumping on while it's quiet. Going to be reading Red Sister when I get home. Nice. Hello to everybody. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, oh, I feel shattered. I've done so much today. Excited for this round. So happy you're hosting sprints to motivate me. You are very welcome. Um, hopefully they do help. Haven't read anything yet, but I'm going to start Rhythm of War Part 2. Nice. Got 70 pages into the final gambit, so we'll start with that. I was starting the tandem read of Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Good luck. Just finishing up dinner, then I'm going to read Destroy the Day by Bridget Camera. Nice. I'm going to jump back into the Bridge Kingdom series. Lush. Hello, handsome. I miss your face. I am all right. Last week was a tough one. I really struggled. You know what? The week before as well, though, I said it in my vlog. I was having really bad mental health that week. And then uh, last week... So not the week before when I had been bad mental health, but last week, mentally and physically, I was just completely frigging drained. Um, it was basically a combination of Monday, I had migraine hangover from Sunday. Uh, so I was trying to get over that and I had a headache and I was working Monday. It was like the only day I actually did some solid work for YouTube and Patreon. And then uh, Monday afternoon, we had some family stuff going on on Andy's side of things, which I don't want to get into because it's not my family, so it's not my business to talk about it. But that went on till Wednesday. And then Wednesday evening, Thomas fell ill and I ended up in hospital with Tara taking Thomas in just for a checkup mostly. But by Thursday afternoon, he was diagnosed with scarlet fever. So that was a whole thing. And um, I just found myself having a cry for like an hour on Thursday evening because I was so 
exhausted from the week from people being unwell and from the stress of uh, potentially some hospital stuff on Andy's side of the family uh, which I would need to get involved in um being someone that drives within the family um and then also like with Thomas being in in hospital with him Thursday evening and then him being very unwell continuing to be very unwell on Thursday sorry Wednesday evening then Thursday he's doing much better and he's on antibiotics and they have worked I think it was when Tara mentioned that there was a chance that he may need to go into hospital to have a drip so that he would get his antibiotics much quicker that terrified the the terrified the shit out of me and I am very much an empath like I am the, the, the most empath empath you're going to meet. And I have to take, I want to so badly take people's pain away. So I wanted to take Thomas's pain away. I wanted to take Matt and Tara's pain away from having to go through all of this. And it was a lot. So yeah, I just, there was a lot going on last week and I just did not have it in me to do any reading or to do any filming or editing. So I got no work done. I did have two videos go up last week, but a third video was meant to go up on Sunday, but it did not because I didn't film it. So it was a lot. And I ended up binging a, a business proposal K-drama and then also uh, Love is Blind season one, the whole of season one, and then part of season two. So I'm doing my best not to turn the telly on today so that I can get some actual reading done this evening. So today, my intention with the whole of today was to film a bunch of videos that I didn't film last week that I needed to, because obviously I need to film a bunch of videos for when I go to Turkey in three weeks. I'm away for two weeks, so I need to film videos for while I'm away as well. So I have a lot to catch up on. And I've managed to do it all today. Filmed three videos, edited five, done a bunch of Patreon posts. I've done so much, put a couple of invoices in for some... Um, collaborations that I've done uh signed up for a new affiliate thingy my bob um but there's so much going on and all through last week the only work I actually specifically properly did was for the Greece trip if you didn't know I'm hosting Trove trip Greece trip next year there is a bunch of stuff on my Instagram and also on here if you want to check it out there is a Greece TBR and all the information is in there if you wanted to check out you've probably already heard about it but if you haven't that's where it is I'm very very excited there are five early bird spots left out of the ten so if you want an early bird spot I would think quick <laughs> and I would encourage you to come because the group we've got so far is insane and I am so excited to go away with these people but thank you for checking in I appreciate you I want to finish God Killer before I start on my TBR for the readathon. I have a little over 70 pages left and I'm loving it. So glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for checking in. I am doing much better today. I managed to, I felt much better over the weekend once I realised Thomas was okay. Um, then we went to my cousin's 30th birthday meal yesterday and the, like I wasn't sure if Matt and Tara were going to come with the kids, but they did. And Thomas seemed to be doing miles better. He has still got like the rash on his body and then on his face is very very red where the rash is he looks sunburned um so he's doing so much better thank god though and he's eating again which is great news because he didn't eat for nearly like two days um so yeah felt so much better after that yesterday and then me and andy went to watch a liverpool united game in the pub and i ended up getting drunk off four drinks which is insane for me because I can drink a lot more than that my alcohol intolerance like my alcohol tolerance is quite high four drinks I was pretty drunk and I think it's just the exhaustion from the week so this morning I got up with him came home about half seven and started on work and I've managed to smash all of my work out before these sprints have started which is great which means that I can read this evening I didn't think I was going to do that I thought I was going to be up in the office continuing to work and I won't get any reading until tomorrow so I'm very happy Hoping to finish Restore Me tonight. Nice. I have a few more pages left to read of today's Wheel of Time section, but then I'm starting on my first final book support group book, which is What Feast Tonight by T. Kingfisher. Oh, yeah. I forgot that's part of a series. I have that one. Dang. Need to finish something. Very excited to read today. I'm also excited to read today. I'm hoping once I've done this chatty bit and I've got caught up with all the comments and letting you know what went on with my week last week, um, I'm hoping that we will stick to the timer. Fingers crossed eating dinner and then I'm going to finish my current read before starting my first book final book nice 56% through fool's errand reading the short stories I haven't read yet of better than the movies by Lynn Painter 
I'm reading as good as dead and hopefully the newest volume of Fence for a quick win. Love that for you. That's what I'm hoping for with this because I haven't read anything in over a week. I'm hoping for a quick win with this. I'm thinking that I can get that done in the first sprint, make some progress on fake in the first sprint, and then have that done and dusted by the second sprint, <laughs> at which point I'll probably go and make some food. Reading the final book of a Norwegian classic, I've been putting off for like two years. It's my mum's favourite, so I really want to finish it. Just found the audiobook for it too, so yay, success. Reading Uhtred, number 13 of the Saxon Chronicles. It's the series proper name. By Bernard Cornwell. Nice. I loved The Last Kingdom, the TV series, and I've been so intrigued since I watched it about picking up these books by Bernard Cornwell. So I'm really interested in whether or not you think I should. I loved the series. I thought it was fantastic. Hello, Finish Work, Perfect Timing. Welcome in, Claire. Reading Mile High, which is not the first book in the series. It is not. <laughs> But it's a good series nonetheless. So you may decide to continue on once you've finished Mile High. You never know. I did. Uh, going to finish my roommate as a vampire today and then decide what to read next. I'm supposed to be listening to a record of a Spaceborn Few, but I'm not liking it. I did like the previous two. Ooh, interesting. Continuing my read of You're the One That I Want by Simon James Green. Going to be finishing European tra travel for the Monstrous Gentlewomen today. Nice. Randomly watched your book Oplus on 2021 vlog yesterday. <laughs> I appreciate you. Is that how far back you are in your watch later? <laughs> or was this just a random, you know what, let's stick that on, why not? That is a long time ago. Love that for you. I hope you enjoyed it, Gav. I, there is no way I'm going to be watching that back just to see what you saw because I can't stand the sound of my own voice. But alas, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Reading Yellowface at the moment, but when I finish it, going to read Crown of Midnight and to continue with the Throne of Glass series. Nice. Hello, hello. Hello. Yes, it was terrible for me, so I get that's where you're coming from. Love, love is blind too. I'm really enjoying it, honestly. It's like pure trash TV, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> Have a very unrealistic TBR with many chunky books, but I think I'm going to start with Sam for the Wild Bill. Quick win. I loved that series as well. I also have many, many big books on my TBR this week, and I don't think I'm going to manage it. I have a big book that will not be featured in my vlog. It, I did post it in my TBR just now on Instagram, though. I forgot it was in there, honestly. But I need to finish that for the BookTube favourites video that's going up in April when I go on holiday. It's one of two books left. I have Fake that I now need to finish. And then I've got Kate, which is the final book in that series. Shadowlands, which is the biggest book in that series. Uh, Hopeless by Elsie Silver. And The World You Make by N.K. Jemison. Is that it? Oh, and Spy Family. Is that it? I think that's it. It's ridiculous. I'm never going to finish it all. But, you know... It is what it is. Started More Tales of the City by Armist Armistead Morpin. I'm not sure. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Currently reading Will of the Many. I hope you're enjoying it. <laughs> Gonna read The Vanishing Stair. Nice. 69% through Shadow and Bone. Then I might pick up Hero of Ages. Yeah, buddy. Love Hero of Ages. Hoping to finish my two current reads, both first in series, then hopefully I'll pick up a sequel for one of the many series I've started this year. I've also started a lot of series this year. Love the Saxon Chronicles. Um, I really recommend if you love The Last Kingdom, the audiobooks are awesome. I'm definitely going to go give those a bash, I think. Sounds like a great time. Glad to be here for a bit today. I will be reading... Do we have the rest of this? Yes, we do. Uh, I'm going to be reading Finley Donovan Rolls the Dice. Nice. I need to get to that one. I'm not sure if that's come out in the UK yet, though. Hello, Radbag. No, I've seen your book Oculus on 2021 vlog before, but I have been in the mood to watch all vlogs from people just to immerse myself in totally different time on BookTube. That is fair. That is fair. Fair enough. I hope you enjoyed it, Gavla. So excited to dive into Legacy of Light tonight. Just got home from work. Gonna have a shower whilst dinner in the is blah, whilst dinner is in the oven, and then do nothing but read. Nice. Hello. Catching up with Saga. I'm at volume three and reading a volume a day. And my other read is the Three Body Problem for work. Nice. 
do love the saga series. I had a hard time picking my TBR because I realized there's not really that many series that I'm in the middle of, but I found some in the end. I have way too many. It's always a struggle for me to decide what to pick up because I'm like, well, what do I read? Shadowlands made sense because it's the last one for Becca's Patreon book club for this month, uh, for that series. And then I just accidentally fell into the Madison Kate series. It was entirely Amanda's fault. Um, she put the first one on my Patreon buddy read pick thing um so i ended up falling into that series uh hopeless makes sense it's the last one in the series might as well finish it off uh and i've forgotten what else is on my tbr already oh the other one makes sense because it's for booktube favorites and the world we make was just one that i picked from a the card pick from my tbr Starting off with What Feast the Night by T. Kingfisher and hoping to make progress, finish both Laura Olympus and Becky Chambers' Wayfarer series. Overly optimistic. That sounds like a decent TBR. I reckon you could do that. Hello, hello. Almost done my current read. Ruin. Sorry, I got distracted. Ruined Hopes by L.A. Cotton and soon we'll start whatever my poll on Instagram decides. Just joined reading, I'm reading White Little Liars, nice. Layers, Liars, not sure if I want to start Fifty Shades Freed or Rune and Rising to finish two series I started years ago. Nice, they are two uh, very different series. <laughs> I also have the Atlas Six out from the library though, so starting a new series could also happen. Yeah, I just got my hold for the Thursday Murder Club through. <laughs> Whoops. I feel like I should focus on sequels, but I have so many series I want to start. That's a mood. That is a mood. Oh, thank you. Um, and my appointment was on Thursday and it got cancelled. So these are almost four weeks old now. Um, so I'm going in on Thursday to get them redone. Um, and I'm going to get some Easter ones, I think. And then I'm going in two weeks later, right before the day before I go to Turkey for my holiday nails. So very excited they're very long now though and it's driving me insane because i can't deal with long nails too well um so i'm ready to get them taken down a little bit hello reading my roommate is a vampire chapter eight and listen to how to plot a payback by melissa ferguson hello hopefully gonna read a bit more of finale last book in carol series i need to get ready for volleyball practice but might read a little when i'm back home nice while I'm here, can I say how much I'm loving the Boys of Tom and series and binding, binding and keeping 13.99p on Kindle and £5 each in the works? If anybody wanted them, would highly recommend. Uh, binding 13 is my favourite book of the year. Will be my favourite book of the year at the, at the end of the year. can guarantee it. Nothing's going to be that book. And uh, one of my favourite books of all time. Would recommend. 10 out of 10. Just joined. Forgot these sprints were happening today. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> I need to read the first 10 chapters of The Crimson Moth because I'm trying hard to keep up with Fairy Loot read-alongs this year. And then I'm going to read Two Twisted Crowns. Nice. Reading The Cursed. It's actually a sequel this time. Yes. Love that for you. Oh, I caught up with the comments. Nice. Um, shall we get on with our first sprint then? Just joined and finishing my book club book to kill a kingdom. Once that's done, I'll probably start on Emily Wilde too. Nice. I think it might be my favourite too. Love that for you. I think the first book I'm picking up is Star uh, Sam of Storm and Silence. Read the first book in February, so it would be awesome to just smash out the final book now. Love that for you. Love that for you. Yes. Let's go. All right. Let's get on with the first sprint team. Let's go.
Hello team, how do we do in that sprint? I read Spy Family Volume 4, I read the whole thing, really enjoyed it. This doggo is very, very cute. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to finish my last 40 minutes of fake in the next sprint while I put some tea together because I'm really hungry. Um, let me change my name to suit my book. If only I could spell. But how did everyone else do? Reading Boys Over Flowers Volume 20A. I'll be using these sprints to pack my kitchen. I move on Friday. Oh, good luck, Crystal. Reading Spy Fam Family Volume 4. Listen to Single Dad in a Kilt. That sounds like so much fun. Order peach and a salad. Who am I? Should get here in about 30 minutes. Lush. We'll use the next sprint to edit. Freelance editor before continuing with a novel that is due back at the library tomorrow. Isle of the Gods, first in a series. <laughs> Nice. 51 pages, 45 pages into What Feast the Night is really good so far. 30 pages into Rune and Rising. Rune and Red Solo Level in Volume 8, really enjoyed it. I need to continue on with that series. I had dinner and read 40 pa 44 pages of A Crown This Cold and Heavy. 22 pages of God Killer, 16 pages left of my book. Nice. I think I read close to 60 pages of To Kill a Kingdom. I'm liking this book as prize and amount considering it's why YA and I have not gotten on recently. Love that for you. Switched sprints over to my laptop and didn't realise how loud the volume was up until how loud the volume was up until the jingle. <laughs> Did not read but had food, so I'm gonna read now. Halfway through a Kingdom of Gods and Ruin, novella prompt. Nice. Oh god. I chill then. I had some work to finish before I started reading, but squeezed 14 pages. Now on page 92 of 147 of Sound for the Wild Built. On page 281 of 402 of Bride by Ali Hazelwood, enjoying it. 391 of 584 of Fool's Errand. Read 37 pages of The Vanishing Star and did some laundry. 51 pages. Finished the book earlier, just got home from getting shopping. Going to read There Is No Devil by Sylvie Lark. I'm making good progress in the last Percy Jackson book. Hopefully finish it tonight. Got distracted by TikTok. Read like 10 pages. Trying so hard not to turn the telly on. I'm so desperate to put on Love is Blind. I'm thinking what I might do is like read Fate in this spring, sprint. And then I might, I don't know whether it's gonna be a disaster to my reading if I watch an episode of Love is Blind because I know I won't just want to watch one episode so what I might do is try and make some progress in Hopeless get halfway through that and then watch some Love is Blind I think you just don't the problem is is that I I binge watch I have this binge watching issue <laughs> so I will stay up till silly o'clock watching it despite how tired I am I was asleep. I was in bed and asleep for nine o'clock last night. <laughs> I ended up so drunk yesterday that we literally got chippy for tea. I ate it and then I watched like an episode. What were we even watching? Ah, oh, we were watching um, Die Hard 4, whatever fucking Die Hard it was with Jai Courtney in it and Bruce Willis. We were watching that and I ended up finishing the movie. I was in and out of sleep. I kept nodding off for a couple of minutes and then waking back up again and the movie had moved on. Um, that happened throughout the whole movie. And then I ended up falling asleep while turning the telly off for like nine o'clock. I fell asleep pretty quickly. Andy was asleep before me. He was asleep for like quarter past eight. But I'm very aware of the fact that he was up and down for a good portion of the night. He said that I slept like a log, though, which I think I did. <laughs> it's probably the best sleep I'd had in ages. So although I got a decent sleep last night, I was up a quarter to six this morning. I don't know. I still want to treat myself to a couple episodes of Love is Blind, though. 
Now, final book of our series, but reading This Delicious Death, currently on chapter 13. Nice. Go home in the last sprint, having dinner now. I'm going to read Day of Fall and Night for this round of final book. Um, I also made a sandwich and updated my reading spreadsheet while listening to some of the audio book. I'm going to update my core pile and my journal, I think, while I wait for my tea to cook and I read fake. Binge watch an issue? Do you mean ADHD? Because I have that issue. I do mean ADHD, yeah. <laughs> I never associated my binge watching with ADHD. That's really funny. That's really funny. I never associated before, but that makes so much sense. I associated my rewatch binge watching with, well, rewatching in general of TV series, movies, anything. I associated that with my anxiety and I associated my listening to the same song over and over and over until I get sick of it with my ADHD. <laughs> but I didn't associate binge watching with ADHD. That makes so much sense. I binge watch movies as well, though, but I get Andy does it, but I don't think he's got ADHD, but he binge watches movies as well. So like if we watch Scream, we will go through like episodes of rewatching the Scream movies and then binge watching them over a couple of days. And we did it recently with the Terminator movies. Um, oh, interesting. I do have that issue. My friend keeps telling me to try Love is Blind and I know that I can't because I will lose my, lose my damn life to it. I'm not sure how many seasons there are, but I binge watched season one in the space of 24 hours the other day. I literally did nothing else with my time. I started it on Thursday evening and then spent all day Friday. I mean, I didn't get out of bed till 12 o'clock. And then one side allowed myself to not be mad at myself for not working and just taking the day off because I was so stressed <laughs> and I know I wasn't in a good headspace to work or read um once I'd allow myself that time and stop shouting at myself and giving myself grief for it I ended up spending I didn't go to bed till three o'clock in the morning I uh, so <laughs> I I spent I think I started watching about one o'clock so I spent 14 hours binge watching love is blind on Friday I finished season one. There were 12 episodes in season one. And then I started season two. I don't go on Netflix to see where I'm up to, but I think it's like episode four or something. Um, we're through the pod stages and now they're about to go to, I think I'm in the first portion of Mexico. I think they're about to go back home. So like season four or five, uh, sorry, episode four or five of season two. And that's all I did on Friday. <laughs> And I'm having a great time, I'm not going to lie, but I don't want to just stop watching it, you know, but I need to, I need to learn how to not stay up till stupid o'clock watching it because I'm like, my eyes are so sore by the time I go to bed <laughs> and I just need to watch like a couple of episodes and make my way through it that way. If I can restrict myself this week to like maximum three episodes a day. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. Um, it's just restricting myself. It's a struggle. As someone with a partner with ADHD who doesn't. We also binge watch a lot together. He will go into focus mode. I used to switch off and shut down of my brain. I, I don't know what it is about us. Like, we love to watch movies. I've always loved to watch movies. Movies were my first love over books. My apologies. Um, and I have a collection of, like, 600 DVDs and then box sets on top of that. Like, I have the whole of the Supernatural series. I have the One Tree Hill box set. I have the Friends box set. I've got Game of Thrones. I've got so many. And I can't bring myself... I want to rewatch Supernatural so bad and One Tree Hill. I can't bring myself to do it because I know I will hyperfixate. And I just, it's an issue for me. When I stay at Andy's, we will spend, we can happily spend the whole day in bed just watching movie after movie after movie. And it's usually movies we've seen before. You know? Not me taking the day off work today because I stayed up late all night watching Blacklist. He re-watches that regularly as well, the Blacklist. He loves it. Love watching Love is Blind. It's like 
a drug once. Let me just get myself on here. Pause this. Um, once you start, you can't stop it so entertaining and people are progressively worse throughout the seasons. It just keeps surprising me. Honestly, I... <laughs> the uh, the reunion for season one i was so shook at the person that by the end of it i was like you were a fucking asshole like i hated this person by the end of the reunion um i just couldn't stand him and i have to stop myself from going on their instagram to see who ends up together i'm really bad at it like i don't like surprises <laughs> again my anxiety kicks in so I ended up spoiling um who ends up together and who doesn't by going on their Instagram for season one and I've kind of done a similar thing I haven't fully figured out what happens actually with season two but I've kind of done a similar thing with season two I don't like surprises okay this season of Love is Blind was definitely interesting. I nearly dived into, was it, is it season 15? Is that what they're up to? I nearly dived straight into that one. And I was like, no, I feel like I should start from the beginning. And now I feel like a mistake was made. <laughs> I should have just watched season 15 and left it at that. I mean, if I'd have made the decision to go back at that point, fair enough, but I started a season one and now I'm committed. <laughs> I collect TV box sets too. I do as well. Like, I haven't bought a DVD or a box set in a long time, though. I will, to be fair, I haven't bought them in a long time. Again, though, maybe that's to do with my ADHD out of sight, out of mind. They all came off of my shelves in my bedroom in April last year to go into my walk in wardrobe where they have sat ever since while I do the renovations on my house. So because that room hasn't been done yet, I need to now find somewhere to put them. 600 DVDs plus boxes. I need to find somewhere to put them while that room now gets renovated. And I've, I, I haven't got anywhere to put them. I have nowhere. I That's a lie. I have the alcove here, which does have a shelf in it. And I could probably put them in there for the time being. But yeah. Did I watch? Yup. <laughs> Hardly ever watch TV as I see it taking time away from reading. I can go months without putting the TV on. Normally, same. Normally, same. But because I've been really struggling with my mental health, my depression has been quite bad recently and I don't know what's kicked it off. But also my anxiety and then last week with all of the health stuff going on with family members from both mine and Andy's side, I just didn't have it in me to pick a book up last week. I was really, really struggling um so I just I ended up binge watching tv it was quite significant as well I watched I finished watching business proposal in fact did I even start that the week before I think I did start that the week before I finished watching business proposal series and then binge watch love is blind season one part of season two I also watched um I think did I do this last week I think I did red white and royal blue Purple Hearts. And then at Andy's, we watched two or three of the Terminator films. And we were watching a America's Unsolved Mysteries or whatever the fuck it's called. And we also, oh no, that was this week. No, it wasn't this week because this week just started today. <laughs> we watched TikTok Crimes, TikTok something or other. It's a new series, true crime series. Um, there's only three episodes to it. And we also were watching CSI. We watched a lot last week. I watched a lot last week. We should have a watch long sprints where we just watch whatever they want. Honestly, I think I'm going to do a couple of sprints reading. I do want to commit to some reading today. Um, and then I probably will just watch Love is Blind while you guys read. Just keep the sprints going rather than shutting them down so I can go and binge TV. It's time to get the shades because I'm really hungry. Um, very clearly low on sugar. Uh, I really need to go and make some tea in a second. I heard they might be getting closer to negotiations, negotiations on doing a new season of Supernatural. I heard this too. Oh, I started watching the Winchesters last week as well while I was at Andy's because I 
don't know how to get it on my TV, whereas he has that dodgy fire stick. So I started watching the Winchesters while he was asleep last week. I used to collect them before I got Netflix and Disney Plus subscriptions. I don't have the space for DVDs as well as the books. Yeah, I need to do an unhaul of a lot of the DVDs I've got. Um, but I am keeping quite a lot of them as well. Because again, Andy watches movies, so we'll keep them in his games room. Um, his games room, his man cave where, he, where he'll have his PlayStation. He might watch them on his own and stuff while I'm reading or whatever. Um, but he has said that I can put the DVDs in there. No books are allowed, but DVDs are. Food just arrived, so this sprint will be food and audiobook sprint. Same for me in the next sprint. I have this problem with binging where I start to binge a show and won't finish it before starting another. I'm in the middle of like 17 animes and three live action shows. You know what? I'm kind of good with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually pretty good with that. After saying that, I won't have finished the Winchesters, but because I can only watch it at Andy's, um, I will probably finish. Actually, I may not. That could also be a lie. I haven't finished Reacher season two yet. I need to finish that. Um, but I will I will say that I will probably finish a few more seasons of Love is Blind before I inevitably get bored and start something new. But I'm pretty good at finishing series and then before starting something else. Finish volume 28 of Boys Over Flowers. Started the fine print. I started Business Proposal today. It's so good. I really enjoyed it. It was my first K-drama and I had a great time chronic watcher which doesn't re-watch which doesn't help sing because of my anxiety i re-watch regularly i think i've seen the movie um oh fuck what's the movie called 13 what is it called it's got um john krasinski in it um it'll come to me as i'm about to type in john Krasinski 13 hours it came to me I, I literally got to his page I didn't even get to the movie point I think I've seen the movie 13 hours about 10 times I've seen um uh, King uh Arthur uh Legend of the Sword at least 20 times and that's not even a joke I watched Purple Hearts four times the week it came out and I watch, and I've seen that film probably about 20 times. I've watched Red, White and Royal Blue at least seven times. I watched it <laughs> two days on the trot when it came out, um, twice. <laughs> uh, we Bought Zoo, I've seen at least 20 times. These are my like my comfort movies, 13 hours. I don't know why it's a comfort movie, but I've seen, I saw that like three times in one week once because I just couldn't stop watching it. Uh, the Fast and Furious movies, uh, up to up to Fast 6, I think, around the time Paul Walker died, up to Fast 7, I've watched those movies progressively, like the first one I've probably seen like seven times, and then I've probably like progressively seen the movies multiple times after that as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a chronic rewatcher. <laughs> You're in season two of Love is Blind, then who have you? You have a big storm coming. I'm so interested to see what's going to happen. So interested because I'm fully aware that some of the people in it are interested in other people. And I'm wondering if they might end up. I don't know if they're allowed to swap partners before the wedding. I don't know. So I'm really interested to see what's going to happen. 13 hours, yeah. Oh, six seasons so far. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was then. I thought it was like season 15. <laughs> yes, read and sprints indeed. I love them. They're so good. Fast seven Furious movies are so ridiculous and mindless. Great choice. I love the Fast and Furious movies. They're great. Lord of the Rings are my ultimate comfort films. I love that for you. They're really good. They're just so long. I don't rewatch them often, but I remember me and my dad binging them when we went on holiday together right before COVID. Literally the day we came back, we went into lockdown. Um, and it was just me and my dad. We went together and we literally, we listened to the um, Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds uh, CD on the way up 
because we love listening to it and singing along. Um, and then we we binge watched the Lord of the Rings movies and the Hobbit movies while we were there. That's all we did the whole time we were there because the weather was shit. We didn't go out. Um, and then we listened to War of the Worlds coming back. That's literally all we did. War of the Worlds, Lord of the Rings and Hobbit. <laughs> it's a great time. <laughs> um, all right, let's do another sprint because I am actually like vis visibly shaking now because I'm so fucking hungry and I desperately need to get some sugar in my system. So let's do another sprint. And I'm going to try and finish fake. Let's.
Hello. How did we do in that sprint? I made net my tea. And I also finished Fake by Tate James. I could take this bookmark out now. Uh, that was quite the cliffhanger. Surprise, surprise. Um, so I am definitely hoping to get to hate this week. Uh, but I am going to be moving on to Hopeless by Elsie Silver because I feel like this will be another quick sense of achievement. It won't take me too long to get through this because these books are always really fast. Um, so, yeah, that is my... Next read, I may, we'll see, I may only read for like one more sprint and then watch some TV, we'll see, if the book hooks me massively I'll carry on reading but um, I'm just really in the mood to watch TV. Hello, that's no worries, we'll be going for a little while yet. Ended up falling asleep during Patreon sprints. <laughs> well, eight pages, should finish the book in the next sprint. Nice, got to page 119, The Weeping Tide. I had 24 pages of God Killer, only 26 pages left now, smashing it. Read 36 pages at dinner and read 34 pages of Rhythm of War. I'm reading A Little Hatred and I don't know how much I read. I read 50-ish pages. This book is very heavy though, so I'm going to see if the library has it on ebook. I do that on occasion, especially with like indie books that are quite big, like 500 pages or even anything over about 350 pages, to be honest. If there's a Kindle limited version of it, I will down it, download it and read it on my Kindle instead. I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a great time so far. It's page 60 of Sound for the Wild Bill. Nice. Read another 25-ish pages uh, into Killer Kingdom. I'm at 82% now. I'm hoping to finish it today. And I took myself out. So now I'm reading in the cafe. Lovely. Love that for you. Two more chapters, ate lunch and put laundry in the dryer. Bought it something pages in a classic. Not bad. First time I properly tried doing audio and physical read at the same time. Working well so far. I do love a good uh, tandem physical audio read. I enjoy it. Just finished Hopeless last week. It was okay. Ooh. Fair. Fair. I hope I enjoy it. I am concerned that this one could let the whole series down because I've given all of them, I think, five stars so far. Almost 60% in, in mm. started at 6% this morning. Um, Should be able to finish it, hopefully. Nice. Read 97 pages of The Vanishing Stare. Hello, just got back from work, eating my dinner. Nice. I was shaking so bad when that sprint started um, that I put my tea in the oven and then promptly scoffed like 10 mini eggs and um, a Milky Way chocolate bar because... I needed to eat something so quick and get some sugar in my system. And I couldn't wait for my tea. It was going to take like half an hour for my tea. So I desperately needed to get some sugar in my system. So I scoffed a bunch of mini eggs. <laughs> Put my son to bed and we read the Snow Queen fairy tale together from Winter Tales. That is so cute. I love that. Looking forward to starting Elsie Silver's new series next month. Nice. I've just put the other series that she's done off to the races. I put the first one on my spring TBR. And I'm very excited about giving those a go to keep me going. I know that her new series is coming out soon. Um, but I feel like that off to the races series will keep me going until I've maybe got a couple of books from the new series. Reading the Spy and I by... Tiana Smith, not my favourite, but I'm, I am going to finish it. Nice. Nice. I'm now also stuffing my face with squashies. <laughs> Considering I've been up since quarter to six, I haven't eaten a great deal today, I'm not going to lie. I got so hyper fixated on my work that I kept forgetting to eat. I had a cereal bar for breakfast this morning at... 
about 10 past seven on my way home from the supermarket. And then I had some noodles about quarter past one. And then I've just eaten tea at seven o'clock. So in a 24 hour period, I've had a cereal bar, some noodles and mac and cheese. <laughs> Which isn't a lot when you think about it. I ate some yummy pasta with family that spring. Gonna curl up and get cozy for some serious reading time till bed now. Nice. I do love pasta. Oh, nice. I know they have the um, watercolour covers. And I nearly got those. But I ended up getting the people one. The people covers before they run out because I was devastated that I didn't get the chestnut spring series in the people covers because I actually really quite like people covers I'm not gonna lie I know it's an unpopular opinion but I do enjoy it I'm reading Wheel of Time at 12 at work I'm gonna be reading Vengeful at home but not today I am pooped fair I probably could do with some to be honest um there were little pieces of pepperoni in my mac and cheese, but I could probably do with some protein, to be fair. Oh, no, wait, my cereal bar was a protein bar. I did have some protein this morning. <laughs> it was 7 o'clock, though. I also need to eat. I just get so wet. Mondays are the worst for me because I'm lucky if I eat one proper meal all day. Uh, I get so hyper fixated on work. I'll have like a cereal bar in the morning, then won't eat anything till tea. And I just forget. It is a nightmare. Hello, hello, I hope you're well. I've forgotten who we're even following in Hopeless, is it Bo? I think it's, oh yeah, Bo Eaton. I'm excited for this. I'm, I, I, I don't... Ah, this is why I'm fucking terrible at finishing series because I don't like it to be over. <laughs> I don't want it to be over. This series has got me... I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's got me through thick and thin since I started it. Any time I could feel a slump creeping up, I knew if I pick one of these up, I would be fine. <laughs> And I don't want it to end. I want us to get Harvey's story, the Eton dad. I'd be like, why do I feel so ill and realise I haven't eaten? Same. I'd be like, why do I feel so sick? What's the matter? Why are you making all these noises? Are you okay? And then I'm like, wait, when was the last time I ate? Oh, okay. <laughs> 26 pages in one book, one hour on two times speed into another So I made some progress with two and I don't just neglect it. Going back to book one once gets page 100. Nice. It is both. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I just don't want it to end. Take that out. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Yeah, you should probably keep an eye on that, Tasha. I hope you're okay otherwise, though. True that, true that. I am excited. <laughs> All right, let's do another sprint.
hello. How do we do in that sprint? I got to page 69 of Hopeless. So progress has been made. I think I might do one more sprint on this and then start watching TV. Oh, fuck. I just really hope I don't have to stay up too late because I am absolutely shattered. It's been such a long day. I am the same. I binged through the Twisted series by Anna Fong in one week and got so fucking bored. <laughs> this, the Madison Kate series is the closest I've then come to binging through a series. And this has taken me, well, by the end of this week, it will have taken me three weeks to get through the series. One of one week, one of those weeks, I didn't read anything though. So two weeks in theory. But I'm really enjoying it. Bless you, Tasha. You'll get there, my love. Second book in After the Racer series is about an Eaton, the Eaton sister. Oh, nice. So you will see the family again. I love that. How exciting. Currently reading Hopeless as well. Twinning. Finish the Spy and I, nice. Finish European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewomen and start the Sinister Mystery of the Mesmerising Girl for a total of 47 pages. Yeah, buddy. Just been watching videos, nice. Oh my God, I feel fucking tired. I got 15 pages in my book left, nice. I didn't read, I felt a bit sluggish these last few days, so I had a nice long shower and did the long version of my evening routine with the extra shower and skincare stuff. Love that for you. You have literally two pages left of the whole book, so be happy. <laughs> 44 pages of There Is No Devil, found an ebook of Day of Fall and I and read 39 pages. 46 pages of Rhythm of War, hello, hello. Into my grandma's for tea and joined midway through the sprint. Managed to finish the page of things we left behind. I love that for you. So much progress has been made. Yes, it has. Almost made it to the end of what feasts at night. Only one chapter left to go. Smashed it. Gotta prepare for bed in the next sprint and watch some TV. Hello. 40% into Blood Bond. On page 260, I almost finished The Weeping Tide. I have 50 minutes left of the audiobook. Got through another chapter of Ruin and Rising, hoping to get to page 200 and have dinner. 22 more pages now at 112 of 147. And I played with my aunt's cats. They're beautiful and lovely, but they're very distracting. <laughs> Fair. Think I can finish my book in the next sprint? Nice. I've gotten nearly 70 pages into this classic thanks to the audio. The first three books in the series went slow. So that's good. Now I'm going to go watch YouTube in bed until bedtime. Switch to reading The Mysterious Case of the Alperton Angels by Janice Hallett. Nice. Oh, fucking hell. I can't stop yawning. I'm so tired. I finished volume three of Saga and read 40 pages of the three. Body problem, moving on to Kingdom of the Curse now, nice. Finally got time to sit and read, it's gonna carry on with Red Sister. Lovely. How long have I got left of this chapter? I would love to get like over 100 pages into this this evening, but honestly, I'm so fucking tired. I just don't know if I'm concentrating properly anymore. I might just get to the end of this chapter and then watch TV. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, dearie me. Oh, bugger. Didn't mean to do that. 
Get so much rubbish email come through all day, every day. I actually think I might make this next sprint the last one. I know we haven't gone for too long this evening, but I'm so bloody tired. Um, but tomorrow I am sprinting from 4 p.m. onwards, and I'm hoping to go for a lot longer tomorrow. Fingers crossed anyway. Um, you'll at least get an extra hour out of me starting at 4 o'clock, even if we do end at a similar time. It's just been a really long day. I don't usually get up at, qu at quarter to six. <laughs> and start my work day at half seven um i'm not usually out of bed till like nine half nine so and i've been doing sprints since half past nine this morning uh with an hour break that felt like 10 minutes <laughs> in between the two sprints uh because i finished sprinting with patrons at four and then started these sprints at five. So I have been doing sprints all day. <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> I just feel bad for those that haven't been with the sprints all day because I've only been going for like three and a half hours so far. We will do one more sprint, but this will be the last sprint unfortunately but there'll be plenty of sprints coming in the week i have scheduled tuesdays and wednesdays sprints so tomorrow sprints are starting at 4 p.m gmt and wednesdays will be starting at 12 p.m gmt i haven't scheduled any yet for thursday and friday because i go to my part-time job thursdays and fridays and then tend to stay at andy's um but i'm hoping to schedule some for the weekend a little bit later on in the week once i know exactly how my weekend's looking it's andy's usual weekend in but he's ended up booking it off after i arranged for final book support route to be this week but he needs to do some holiday shopping and i think he's going to go with his mum so i might just encourage him to spend the weekend with his mum this weekend uh while i do final book support group because <laughs> i'll be seeing a whole lot of him over the next couple of weeks once we go to turkey i'll be stuck with him for two whole weeks um so you know done with to kill a kingdom four stars i'm glad you enjoyed it I think I'll finish this chapter. <sighs> Excuse me. And then watch some Low is Blind. Really didn't think I was gonna finish it on that sprint. <laughs> nice. Cool. I am also really tired. Just hope I can stop myself from staying up and watching too much of Love is Blind. Maybe I should set myself a limit of like two episodes this evening and then go to bed. That sounds like a good idea. I am, um, again, my binging meant I read, I watched this in 24 hours. <laughs> over two days but within the 24 hour period uh i watched the whole latest season in um actually i think it was less than 24 hours but yes i am all caught up on drive to survive indeedy wish i could binge book series as well as i can binge tv series <laughs> After saying that, I wouldn't have this problem and we probably wouldn't have Final Book Support Group. <laughs> I would have done the same, but my fiancé makes me wait to watch it with him. Uh, and he has no interest in F1, so I didn't need to wait for him. <laughs> I wouldn't have done even if he wanted me to, to be honest. <laughs> All right, let's go.
Hello. How did we all do in that sprint? I made it to the next chapter in Hopeless. I made it to 75 pages. And honestly, I'm happy with my progress considering I read nothing, not a single page last week. Um, I have read all of Spy Family Volume 4. I read the last whatever I had of fake and I managed 75 pages of this as well. So I'm happy with my progress. I would have liked to have made more progress in this, but I'm honestly, I'm just too tired. So I did start watching Love is Blind. I'm on episode six of season two and I have 18 minutes left and shit is popping off. <laughs> Hello, welcome in. Ooh, my favourite Chestnut Spring Suit book. I think Heartless, because I love Cade. <laughs> I'm obsessed with Cade. Uh, if any of you have watched Yellowstone, uh, Rip. He's called Rip, right? Yeah, Rip. Um, the guy who plays Rip, Cole Hauser, should play... On Cole Hauser only as Rip, though. Not Cole Hauser and anything else. Cole Hauser as Rip in Yellowstone should play Cade if they ever make a TV show or movie. But yeah. <laughs> Followed very closely by, I think, Powerless. I did love Jasper as well. I thought that one was very, very sweet. Just saw on Goodreads that there is a Christmas novella for Chestnut Springs. Ooh, I have to have a look at that one. You are very welcome. I love Bethany. I saw this come through and I was laughing my head off. Only join people's patrons to see what chairs they use. Market research. I need a new office chair. Please ignore my last comment if it comes up. I made the mistake of commenting on the whole live stream. <laughs> I hope you find the right office chair. <laughs> 32 pages. Finished what feast the night, which was great. And read 64 pages of The Chalice of Gods, which won my Instagram poll. Nice. Smashed it. Finished my first book of this readathon. Success. I read 52 pages. Watch more videos. Uh, 65 pages into Ruin and Rising, hoping to make it to page 150 of 200 before bed. 46 pages of Rhythm of War, 125 in total tonight. Smashing it. I doom scrolled, was not a good idea. <laughs> I read 6% of Take a Hint, Danny Brown, the Brown Sister series, book two. I love Take a Hint, Danny Brown. It's my favourite out of this, the whole series. I love that series as a whole in general, but book two is fantastic. You are very welcome. 51% into blood bonds, 19 pages, like 12 to go. Also joined Beth Sprints for a chatty bit. I finished Sound for the Well Built by the time her sprints are finished. Woo! Nice. Finished my books by Family Volume 1. Nice. Also just received a message from my boyfriend that he has finally landed in the Caribbean after his third flight of today, so I can go to sleep without worrying. Bloody hell. That's a long that's a lot of flying. <laughs> have a few minutes of Deadlands left. Glad to have nearly finished it. I knew you could do it today, Devon. I knew it. Still working, but I did get the kitchen clean. Smashing it. Love that for you. I'm going to take this banner off because it's driving me insane. Well, thanks for hanging out with me this evening, my loves. My apologies that I didn't go on um, any longer. But hopefully tomorrow we will get more out of me. He left home at 4 30 a.m. Um, other than sprints tomorrow at four o'clock, I have nothing else planned other than to sit and read all day. I have like some admin I need to do. I need to get my accounts up today and do some other admin -y bits, but I can do those while I'm listening to audiobooks, which is great news. So hopefully I will be full of beans tomorrow at four o'clock rather than be you know, have done an entire week's worth of work in one day. <laughs> I'll be a little bit more chill tomorrow, which is good news. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly appreciate it. 
Thanks for hanging out with me all day, Devon. I loved it. Um, thank you for hanging out with me this evening. I had a great time. I'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. at GMT. So I shall see you all then. And good luck with the rest of your books. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening slash day, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Bye for now.